Aziz, light! Aziz, light! Aziz, light! Oh, muted. Are we live? Oh, muted. Seems good. Valdak, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, thank you. I am tolerable. Uh, I already designed out the last couple of train stops for the last two core frags on this planet. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have a relatively large area that we can't trim back, but it's fine, I guess. It's better than having the spaceships fly further for crying out. Might even have brought enough... Uh-oh. I was just checking that. I was going to say we might even have brought enough to build everything in one go, but apparently not. I'll get everything placed that we can before we go back for the bulk rail loaders or whatever else. Triple F in five days, four hours. Was that cliff explosion really necessary? I suppose so. Actually, I think on, I think there are edge cases where the uh, blueprints or ghosts plan out cliff explosives that are not actually necessary, right? It doesn't happen too often. Okay, so we also need at least one drill. Uh, and I already placed that one. Well, let me just get the rest of this rail built as well before I double check what's missing. And uh, I actually just want that wire to go there. All right, so this is connected to global, and this is connected to global. Cool, cool, cool. Back to the ship, where we will not get run over by a train. Did I not start this train? I guess not. Uh, where's our charged packs? I guess they're all in here. And we've already got the batteries and stuff. Nope. Uh, it was seven, right? Yeah. Seven advanced additional electric engines, and five and three solar panels to batteries. Uh, I guess we may as well get that train moving. Oh, we need to fix the schedule. I can actually copy it from here. There we go. Down the elevator, please. Uh, and I would like you to... Nope, 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 nope. Stop here. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, just so that we can check the pathing to all of these stations. Let's double check all of them, because why not? We'll only take a moment, and we'll have peace of mind. Okay, so it looks like... All of the stations are reachable. Fantastic. You may go. Uh, you may go. There we go. Is that actually full? No, not even close. Alright. Uh, so we need some bulk rail loaders. I thought I grabbed them all, actually. I did grab them all. 
Oh no. So we need like eight more of those. Can I make some on the spot? I don't think so. I haven't been carrying components around this playthrough. We need iron plate, iron gear, and electronic circuit. We're not making electronic circuit. Uh, while we're here. Let's just go back. To Gen Orb. Scobix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We'll be there in... Like a minute, I imagine. Just still accelerating. I know, I, I, I do realize we're not exactly doing the most realistic simulation of space here. But come to think of it, something that they could easily do. Um, that would be a little bit more realistic. Is if you want to get somewhere as fast as possible, you spend half the journey accelerating. And half the journey decelerating. Instead of having an arbitrary top speed. Alright, um, before I forget, we... If there had been bulk rail loaders in here, I would have died. But we looked for it with this, didn't we? So that's not going to happen. Uh, but yeah, I want to get rid of these when we go back. Clean that stuff out. Good, relevant time of day. Glacier Wolf, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, so yeah, we'll be there in one second. Fantastic. That's one second game time, so more like two seconds. And here come the bulk rail loaders. Ten should be enough. And we need... was it two drills? I think... Oh, this is full? I think there's stuff in here that's not supposed to be here. Hmm. Do we not have the wide beacons? We do. We have only four, though. There's no Naquim Tesseracts. Are we still getting those delivered? I think so. There's five in the robot network. Where are they? Because we're requesting exactly a train load, so they're not getting delivered even if we have them. What? What? Oh, now they've disappeared. Is this what it takes to get them delivered? Maybe I should ask for two train loads at this point. Or at least more than one brain load of Naquim Tesseracts. So if we're down to 50, it'll trigger another delivery. Assuming that these are available, which they're not. Good talk. Uh, did we get all those Arco spheres delivered? Where's our Arco? I think we sent it out and forgot about it again. Anchor to Spectre. Okay, distractions pile on distractions. Let's put it right about here. Uh, I think it's under spaceships. 50 by Arco Collectors. And away go the bots. Look at him go. Like a cloud, almost. We can't do factory searches for ghosts, can we? No. It'd be good 
I, I love this mod, and I'm sure they've added things to it by now that I haven't got with the current version. Uh, but it'd be good if we could find... If there's a whole lot of floor tiles ghosts that we forgot about somewhere that's slowing down the bot reaction time. If we could find those easily. Uh, where's our blueprint? Boop and boop. And we'll come check on that in a minute. Actually, wow, that that's fast. It's a lot faster than when we had like 50 Logibots doing the job. Uh, construction bots, rather. Okay. Um, and do we... We should really put a wire on... Oh, I already did. I can't tell what the numbers are because it says negative 999k. And it doesn't get more specific than that. Uh, I, I want to disable these filters the moment... Or rather, enable some filters the moment we're sure that all the Logibots have done their thing. I guess we can tell just by looking at Logistic Bot 50 out of 50. There's exactly 450 of each of these in storage. What are you working on today? Uh, a few things. Welcome in, Zan. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I got 45 more spheres yesterday. It happened somewhere between 800 and 808 launches everywhere. So they they get spiky, huh? Alright, we insert. Uh, I don't think there's any utility to waiting for the bots there. Oh no, wait, I want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the first launch, we wait until the recipe is finished, because... I think it's... I, I, judging by the fact that there were 450 here a second ago, I don't think it's happened this time, but... It's possible for... A couple of the space probes to get put in early. Uh, the space probe rockets. Yeah, we'll come back to that in a second. God, the media defense installations really take a long time to charge up the first time. Okay, anyway, before we forget what we're doing... Uh, let's head back. What are you doing? Is there nowhere to drop off destroyed bots? There should be. Uh, I could have sworn. No? I might have... Yeah, no, there's a... Oh, I know what's going on. I think. Where is it? Here it is. If destroyed logistic bot in the robot network is greater than zero, then make a recipe for repair logistic robot to add to the auto crafter. But there isn't one in the network at the moment because this bot is hovering. But are we really out of storage space? We're not. So what's going on? Why is this bot just sitting there? Oh, it's a construction bot. Does that matter? Why is the construction bot hovering with this logi bot? Destroyed logi bot. It's all the same robot network. It wasn't... My inventory's not full, so if the bot belonged to me, it shouldn't have been hovering. And it would have been following me. Arco's not random, probably reached a threshold? Well, nothing's truly random, uh, at least not in computer science. Uh, but anyway, that should... Yeah, there it is. That should get the bot repaired. Not sure what was going on there. Also... There's no reason not to set just a really, really high limit on this. Did we... We must have put a whitelist for it. Yeah. 
Okay. Anyway, we're ready to go back to Zakhol. Zakhol orbit. What? What are these? Wait, no. No, I guess that's fine, actually. It seemed like it didn't do the calculation again after I removed the chest. Oh, that reminds me. I think the Arcosphere Collector ship... We still forgot to remove these storage chests. There's just a whole... There's like half a trainload of Holmium solenoids just sitting here. Uh, okay, we're ready? We are ready. I wish we could, like, circuit wire these and just read if they're already prepared to launch or not. That'd make it a lot easier. Regardless, time to lower the volume. For you guys, at least. Actually, I'll be taking the headphones off a little bit. It's just a bit easier that way. And away we go. Boy, do tank. Fantastic. I feel like I should add some copyright free inspiring music to go with that. All right, back. Uh, so that'll automatically keep going for the next uh, 400, 450 Arco Sphere Collector launches. Um, it will wait till they're all synced up before it inserts. And while that's happening, we shall finish off our build over here. And we'll place it where the robot networks are not going to contaminate. Oh, I should have brought some Logibots. It's not too late. Oh, the aim. Uh, let's see. Logi, Logi, Logi bot should be up here. That's a lot. Put in some extras because why not? Uh, and maybe just a couple of instruction bots as well. I'm realizing I kind of want a door that faces north, so I can just sprint out here. Um, so each robot network... ...needs to have... ...not this many construction bots. Uh, more importantly, 50 logi bots. There's two reasons that we split it up like this. Uh, one, that's fine, uh, one is so that we can cheese the 50 robot, uh, 50 Logibot limit where they won't crash, but just as importantly, um, we don't want the bots traveling from this chest, for example, all the way over to this side of the spaceship when they're loading it, because the bots love to pick one chest and just fill it up for the most part. Uh, and they're exponentially faster the shorter the path that they're taking. Uh, so we'll go finish building the last two train stops. And then we need to configure this thing. And then we need to make a drop-off back at Hagen. And then we need to do something about processing... Uh, the Cryonite, I guess. Come to think of it, we do have... Hmm. I'm thinking I should probably do a unique build for this. Because with our other templates, uh, we've got like spaceship drop-off directly into core fragment processing, export the... Uh, Holmanite, for example, and or direct belt it. 
but on the ground, we've already got a crayonite or frags being dropped off by train over here. I don't exactly just want to build another one of these and create unnecessary train trips. Um, and Cryonite has a ridiculously small stack size. Cryonite powder is pretty reasonable at 50. And we already have possibility to use the rail network, uh, rail network for the Cryonite powder. Uh, so I think think it'll be a little bit like vulcanite. Maybe we'll try and just squeeze in the crinite powder, the crinite to crinite powder processing right here. Does it have any other byproducts? Just sand. Hmm. That does complicate things a little bit. I could always... Wait, wait, wait. I could always just turn the stone, the excess stone that gets converted from crinite core frags into sand on the spot. So that's like one more machine, so we don't need another train stop. Well, I'm sure it'll be solvable. Anyway, make sure that's connected. Fantastic. And we have just one more to go. So good looking, thank you. Uh, I guess it'll be faster if I fly. Despite the acceleration. And boop boop. I guess this doesn't have to be all the way back. Yeah, that looks kind of better though. Alright, connected to global, connected to here. Looks good. And we already confirmed the train can reach. I guess we can live with just a couple of trains on this planet. What, what's our max rate for the whole planet? Before we do any more productivity research. There's 15 drills. One less than what we've got on Hagen. 58.180. So a little bit less than three stacks per second. Um, I forget how many stacks. It's about 1100 stacks that the spaceships can carry. So back of the envelope. We would need a spaceship every six minutes-ish. To make sure the bottleneck is the actual cryonite or franks. Back we go. And I guess we can trim this. It's not going to be much of a trim. It's kind of a... It's almost a square with curves on the edge. Still, um, the game will save ever so slightly quicker because we don't have all that extra area. Oh, there's the elevator. Up we go. And I think we already did all the configuring on this side, right? Oh, we need to... We need to set the station... Uh, station... We need to set the signal transmitter and receiver channels, but I don't think I want to do that until we've got the drop-off set up back at home. Oh, there is one thing I may have forgotten to change. Yeah, here it is. We need to set the anchor to target left clamp offset uh, to line up for Crynite. Crinite core franks. Um, I don't think I've still got the legend to that 
saved somewhere. But it it's all just in order of as the signals appear over here. So it's going to be one more than Vulcanite and one less than Imacite Cave. Vulca uh, Imacite Cave is 13, so it should be 12. Yeah, it's 12. Okay. So that's plus 11 from the one... Uh, there's like a constant combinator on the ship that spits out anchor to target left clamp one. We want to add 11 to it, and it's a little awkward, but to save a combinator, we've got like output one plus 10 becomes 11, becomes 12. So when the ship comes here, gets its memory, rel uh, memory cell reset, uh, gets its destination set back to Hegan. Uh, it's also going to have its anchor to target left clamp on the memory cell. The offset will be set correctly. Oh, let's head back to Hagen orbit. And let's check in on our arcospheres. 200 launches to go. So four sets. So we're halfway done. You know what I should add to the... Uh, add to the blueprint for all of this stuff? Is... Some kind of... Do we have one here? I doubt it. No, we don't. Uh, we want a programmable speaker to just look for no more Arcosphere collectors detected in the robot network. It'll start giving a false positive once all of the Arcosphere collectors are in the requester chests, but at least we'll have some kind of reminder that we need to pack this stuff up. Oh, looks like we're going to launch again soon. May as well watch it again. I want the new combinators already, right? Fantastic. There's that satisfying sound. Alright, back to whatever it was we were doing. Okay, we need to go downstairs. We don't need this many cliff splodes. Uh, we need to go downstairs and... I guess I should start designing it first, actually. Over here. Hurry up. Much schnell bitte. There we go. 
Okay. So we're gonna steal... Uh, actually, I should have gotten rid of some of this floor here. We're gonna steal... Instead of searching through our blueprints, which might be a little bit out of date, I'm just gonna steal from one of our extant blocks here, for starters. And we'll just toss that in the temp area for the moment. Did I actually leave enough room? I think I did. Oh, missed a spot. That should be right, but I want to be doubly sure. Okay. Uh, so what number are we up to? For the drop-offs. Large gold text plate entity. Looks like it's going to be 26. Nope, we've already got a 26. That's weird. Then where the heck is... Did we skip a number somewhere? Oh boy. They're all out of order. Two, four, five... One, two, four, five, three, six, seven, eight. Did we skip number nine? Nope, there it is. So now we're looking for ten. There it is. Eleven. Uh, I think I saw a twelve. Yep, 13. Fourteen. I know this is silly, but it's going to bug me. Fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. I think I saw a twenty somewhere. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-one? Twenty-two. Where's twenty-three? That's twenty-five. Twenty-three... Is there no twenty-four? I think there's no twenty-four. Alright, let's just step through all the doubles. 22, 18, 10, 19, 21, 13, 12, 11, 16, 14, 23, 20, 17, 25, 26, 15. So there's no 24. Okay. So I guess we don't even need to bump up the... Uh... Uh, the loop for this thing. Uh, so that's going to be Crinite Core Frags. And it's going to be spitting out the usual pattern. Now, if we were to try... Well, we should probably design it for Tier 9. Because I don't want to have to change the shape of it later on. Plus 1300, minus 80, plus 600. Okay. 225.6 crinite per second. And then we need the same machine to make crinite powder. Uh, how many, how many of those would it take? 
uh, would require six machines. Is that how many we crammed in for the Vulcanite? One, two, three, four, five. And we barely managed that. Oh no. And we would also need one more type of output train stop. Well, I guess, yeah, we used two different ones up here. That could be fine, actually. But I don't like the ratio. Let's just use uh, another block nearby to process the grinite, and we'll direct belt it there. And then we should probably build this nice and close. To where we make our crinite rods. Actually, I bet this is already saturated. Right? Uh, so we're slightly positive on crystals, and this requires 179 powder per second. Which we've got what way more than that. Have we been producing powder continuously, though? On paper, we should be able to. And I always see core frags here. But when I click on the machine, sometimes I see... Where was it? I clicked somewhere or other and saw that something was not saturated. Yeah, no cryonite. Why is that? Probably because we ratioed this for tier 9. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, uh, so before I made this outpost, I probably should have checked. Um, okay, we're not that positive on cryonite powder. If I make another one of these, uh, we're going to be seriously in the negative. But I think I will make it right here. And... We could put the cryonite ship drop-offs over here, but I kind of, I kind of like having the ship drop-offs on the outskirts. We need to avoid flying over the spaceships or walking over them with spider-trons. So I don't have, I, I don't want to have to remember where they are too much. Like, these two are about as bad as it gets. Oh, and these ones. I guess we've already broken our rule a little bit. It wasn't really much of a rule. Um, that's that's a core drill. I suppose I should just put it here. I don't foresee. I don't necessarily foresee needing more than one Cryonite core frag drop-off. How fast is this again? It can consume 132 per second, and our new outpost is like half of that. So even if we made another outpost... Yeah, no. I, I don't think we're going to need two more of these. Have you considered making a T-Hacks hello hello emote? Uh, or welcome welcome? Uh, indeed, I do actually have... Uh, a couple in the pipeline. Friend working on some more. But he's finishing exams. Uh, where were we? Okay. So we're not changing this at all. Except that we'll direct belt the output, I guess. Don't need this. That's not necessarily going to be there. Uh, and this needs to say Cryonite Core Frank. And I think that's the... Oh, this needs to say 12, right? 
just double check one more time. This was 11, and this was 13. Yeah. So that is 12. And this also needs to say... Reinite Korfrank. Owen, welcome in, and Dylan as well. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Search the timing of the Combinator. Maybe one is labeled wrong? Uh, can we do that? Search the timing of the Combinator. I, I can look for a... I can look for a signal type, but... Oops. Time signal. Like, that's not really going to narrow it down so much. We would have to click on every single... Every single one of these. Weirdly enough... It actually only found it here because it wasn't getting passed through this one. Like, it was only getting passed through this one on that tick. And these are all ten ticks apart, so it was actually kind of a fluke that we got anything at all. Okay. Oh, modules, my favorite. We have 14 speeds, 42 prods, and 48 efficiencies. And another seven prods waiting over here. Fantastic. Um, I think that's pr pretty much it. For the Cryonite. So if we're gonna do, if we're gonna build that say here. Uh, I guess I could build it like pretty close to these core frag drop-offs. Uh, and then we've got, like, pretty much one block over here to watch out for. And we could belt the cryonite north to get processed here. And then the powder can get belted directly to the west. Into this one. That's fine. Also, powder doesn't just go here, it comes in here as well. Sure. All right, well, why don't we start building this? While we're preparing things with d the design work and such. Wait for inactive and wait at least 30 seconds. And... I'm not even going to check if we're carrying everything that we need to build all of that in one go. We'll just see what's missing. Uh, also, we could use some wide area beacon 2s. That might be a thing we could do. figure out what the ratio here is. Definitely going to have beacon overload. No? So that's looking for... 50-50. Minus 80%. I'm pretty sure that's going to stay the same. Even though we've got five prods in these. But especially because we've got five prods in these. Yeah, that's two megawatt each. Uh, what, what am I... What am I clicking? Right click. Okay, 50-50. And 
this one and this one. I think it's going to take two trips just because modules. Also, space pipe. Um, is it only pipe sevens that we're missing here? Looks like it. Pipe sevens. Thought. I think I was just carrying those myself. Should be able to fit. There shouldn't be any cargo wagon that's completely full. Although that is only technically true. Triple X Poser, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. All right. So that should be built by the time we look again. Um, and if we're building that there, we're going to want... Uh, we're going to want... It's probably not going to be a very big block. Yeah, we could just do a little custom thing here. Don't... Don't make it, like, modular that we could expand later. So we're going to build our uh, Crynite or Frank drop-off over here. Oh, I didn't fix the train stop names. I guess since we're pretty confident that we're never using trains for the Crynite... Oops. We can get rid of this. I'll just direct... Wait, 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 wait. Can we just fit this here? Uh, Cronite powder. That should be more than enough, right? Nope. Oh. No? I thought we needed six of these. Two hundred and twenty-five point six. Oh, I was looking at the Powder output, not the crinite input. 242. Yeah, we need like 10 or 11. For it not to bottleneck there. Okay, so we're not building this here. It'll, it'll be built up here. No big deal. Copy, shift, tiles, train stop themes... The other train stop names should be the same, right? Yeah. And put that down here. And that's going to go around about here. Fantastic. Those rocks are going to get squished. Uh, I guess we got the train just at the right time. It's just about been reloaded. 30 seconds ago. Didn't realize this would be in range. Oh. Go bots, go. Luckily they don't have to go very far. They should get back to the train before the inactivity timer kicks in. But we're resetting the bot count because of that. Because some of them went missing. We basically just 
take them all out and then put all the bots back in. Because we can't count the individual bots in the separate cargo wagons. Hmm. Could probably fit the, uh... Oh, I should have built it here, maybe. I guess it's not too late. How did we end up with with a pulverizer on the ground here? That's weird, isn't it? We still need more furnaces. Why didn't we get more furnaces when we when we went back? Whatever. Um I kind of want to see if we can fit... ...all of that extra processing... ...in that quarter block that we're not using. So our target is to be able to consume, or at least mostly consume... Uh, 225.6 Crynite per second. And it'll be pretty easy to avoid the beacon sickness. And we need how many? If we do 10, it's 220. So it'll bottleneck on the processing here, but just barely. So we'll have nice saturated belts. I can live with that. It's also probably quite a lot of cryonite powder, it is. Can we fit 10 over here? I have my doubts. Also, we have to deal with sand. That's the only trouble. Um, I don't really see myself squeezing in another train pickup for sand over here. So I think we'll just build it here. Don't worry about it. Alright then. So the initial plan stands. Why does this... Oh, wait, what? Why does this have one tier 6 in it? That's weird. Also, we need like five advanced furnaces. Are we carrying those? Advanced furnace, 20. There are 82 advanced furnaces. They are in this container. Oh, it's because we're still trying to put uh, long space pipes in the train, and we don't have them. Do we not manufacture them? Have I always just handcrafted them when it comes down to it? Maybe. There we go. Alright, so that should be everything we need. Except we don't have that many White Beacon 2s. Uh, what? Why did you do that? And we'll place our construction train over here. Might be easier if I just go over there for some of this. Oh 
Okay. Uh, we don't need drug nines in these just yet. That that's not the highest priority. Where did they go? Give them, give them back. I kind of want some nice floor here, even if we're not using the whole block. You have just finished... no. I was going to say just finished getting reloaded. Uh, looks like we're short on the plating. How much have we got? 5k. This requires 6. Ouch. I think we need a bigger storage for the, uh, for the dark plating here. I'll just have the construction train drive by real quick. And away it goes. Alright, so try not to be distracted, but you know what? Let's just remove the tile ghosts for the moment. We'll be distracted by the searing bright snow instead. So we're looking for... 10. Um, and the powder needs to go over here. Direct... Hmm. Wait, we're not direct belting this. What is this here for? Oh, it's what we did over here. Of course. Um, I guess we could use these undergrounds that are already here. That's kind of awkward, actually. Whatever, that's hardly our most pressing issue. Well, I am trying to figure out where to fit this elegantly, though. So we're going to have undergrounds coming up here. Why don't we put our sand output here-ish. And we're going to want these belts over here as well. So it's going to be shaped more or less like this. Except... Not sand. Powder. Didn't bring enough pulverizers? Uh, we need ten, though. We're still one short. That's a little bit irritating. Do another lap. We got this built, right? Yeah, we did. Alright, do you have 6k yet? 5.6. It's actually not taking that long. Um, and I think instead of putting this in the middle, move these over one tile. And that way we can just filter out the sand this way. Actually, do it in pairs. Uh, we sort of can't. Do I not have any purple belt? Rude. Okay, let's do this then. Sand. Sand. Uh, upgrade. To purple. That doesn't actually copy-paste the purple. Never mind. I think we've got... 
Nope, that's unfiltered. Rude. The total sand output for this should be fairly slow. 28 per second is not that slow. I guess we'll just have long trains only pick this up. Kind of defeats the purpose of trying to make this all symmetrical. Let's move this over again. Put the beacon in the middle. And... Why are these bots hovering? What are you... What are you doing? I could easily have missed that. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to want... It's a little bit easier if I just take some purple belt. We're going to want to use a splitter so we can use all the storage space here. Long trains only for sand pickup. And tell me we have the black plating by now. 5.9k, fantastic. Please head over this way. And save my eyes. Now then. We could either do two filtered output loaders or... We could, like, chuck them in a container and then filter them from there. What's the max rate from this? Pretty fast. Um, I think it's a lot faster with tier 9 modules. I'm going to leave room for that. So we're getting, holy crap, 220 and 400. Four point four belts of powder and two and a half belts of rhinite. That's kind of a lot. So really, we should have, like, I didn't even consider the sand. Uh, that's less than one belt, mercifully. So four belts of input for the cryonite, and more than four belts of output for the powder. Good grief. Good gravy. In that case, I think we do the sand output just down the middle like this. And, well, we already have, like, two belts... For cryonite from here and two belts for cryonite from here. So I guess that's not too difficult. Uh, maybe I'll move this over a tile or two. Flip this around. That way this just happens to line up. We need input. Wasn't the tier 9 configuration four belts each machine? I don't think so. No. 
Lord Seru, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Input, 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 input. Uh, that's not quite right. That's already max distance, right? Yeah. I guess I can push this down a little bit. Uh, but more to the point... It would actually be super convenient... The way it lines up. If we flip that around... It looks a little cozy, but that's okay. And then... Wait, what am I doing? That's not what I meant. Move that over one tile. And then... This one... Does that work? Can two of these machines get supported by... One belt? Yeah. Oh, hold on. So we're trying to split... It's only a bit more than one belt. 110 per second. Into five machines. So the first is... Less than half a belt, actually. 220. Yeah, it's actually only like two and a half belts. It's actually pretty easy. Okay. So this will work quite easily. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be a problem. Kind of want to put this here. Or maybe just move the whole thing up. Less cramped over here. That's fine. Of course we've got bots that are stuck already. Just give me the rail. And all the purple belts. Alright, so same thing on the opposite side. that back a bit. And then we just need to deal with the outputs. How much powder is it again? We've already dealt with the sand. 200 on each side. That's more than a purple belt between three machines. It's almost a purple belt between two machines. We could bottleneck it at two belts, which is 180 per second. I don't remember what, how much this is looking for. Oh wow, 337? And that's before we have higher tier modules. Yeah, I don't think we should belt bottle like this. Corner belt on the right going up got broken? What do you mean? Further to the right. Oh, it's not facing the right way. There we go. Good catch. We could do, like, two belts, two belts, and one down the middle. With the same kind of pattern here. Finite powder. Okay. 
Something like that. Uh, except to get around the beacon. And do it like this. It's a little wonky, but it'll get the job done. And then we'll just do... a couple of belts heading out over here. Well, hold on. Any pair of these can manage with one belt. We only need it for the middle one, right? Yeah, we don't need this. Or this. Just these two. And then we'll share a belt between these two and these two. Except you're kind of in the way. What would be the neatest way to merge these? Well, considering we have to do another one up here, I guess we'll just do them further out. And these are filtered, right? Nope. So something like that. Don't tell me the pylon's going to be in the way. Tisk. Oh, we can just use an underground there. That's fine. But that's the basic gist of it. Cool. Underground this up here, I guess. How far does this reach? Far enough. So now we need to get these five belts of powder over in this general direction. Uh, that's not filtered, but it can only be powder. So we could merge one in here, but that's... And we could also merge one in here. No, no we could not. I do want to place, uh, try SpaceX, but looks like it takes so long to finish. Such a big rabbit hole to go down. Yeah, well, bear in mind we are doing sort of post-end game play here. Uh, we have technically finished the game quite a while ago. But what I thought was a fairly modest arbitrary goal turns out to be uh, perhaps a little extreme. At least with some of the uh, methods that I've chosen. Right, let's build this in here. And then... Probably... Probably go all the way back here for those ones.
belt. Um, and we're not going to need these, but we might want to merge in the same spot. Oh, we need loads of throughput to support these individual machines. So we really do want to balance this pretty well. Why don't we just... Merge a belt into this, into this, and into this. Maybe like that. So we would have... That's actually kind of in the way. No, nope, that should be fine. Put that right about there. And there's too many undergrounds. So I kind of want the middle one to go there. Why does this not reach? Oh. That's fine. And where do we squeeze these in? It's only a half belt. Oh, no, it isn't. Yeah, we could actually... No, no, we already thought of this. There's an underground in the way. The splitter you just put down has the filter on the wrong side. So it does. Alright, we can put one more belt here at least. And I guess... The other one would have to go up here. This is turning into spaghetti. but I don't really see a better way. That'll have to do. Okay. Why are we not getting any trains here with the Cranet Carter? Because it's all direct belting, but does it never accumulate? Because I thought... Oh, this does direct belt down there. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. Well, let's slap this thing together. Um... And just copy-paste these channel settings. Central dispatch, spaceports. We already set this to time signal has to be 240. Um, we've already got antimatter here. That's good. And... Yeah, we're not going to get a signal to accept a job until a ship lands here and has been emptied. I do happen to have 50 Logibots on my person. Did I actually seed this with enough, uh, with enough bots? 50 and spares. 50 and spares. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. So 
so then I th think all that's left... Oh, we need to change these filters. Request finite core frags. That's not that big of a deal, though. Uh, and whitelist Crynite Core Franks. That is a pretty big deal. We do not want the bots sending all the Core Franks back to the mall. That would be unfortunate. Alright, so I... Th right, let me just double check. There's nothing we need to do at Central Dispatch itself, right? There's no... No need to, like, program in a new resource type or something. No. So I think all we need to do now is set the channels at the outpost. I'll just double check before we do that. You need two stacks of bots? What do you mean? No, there's, there's only one robot network where we're standing. Central clock, central dispatch. I should double check which one it is. I think it's these last two without the antimatter symbols or anything. Verb T. Let me make a tag here real quick. We can flick back to it nice and easy. A new pin. It's going to be the only crying out one. I don't remember the formatting exactly. So we want the address, and then the number. Moon orbit 1010. So I call orbit, moon orbit, 23. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so we want central dispatch just above these things and central clock. Yep, cool. I'm not going to accidentally use the old channels. Central clock. And there it is. Uh, we've already got... We've already got Central trying to give us a ship on the way here. And it looks like it's about to take off. No, that's... If any... It's on the red wire. If anything not equal to zero. I'm pretty sure we set that up so that... Yeah. Wait, what? Anything not equal to zero? Oh, right. The, yeah, the yellow means we've got a job that we're trying to give away. Now I remember. So there should be a ship on the way here pretty soon. No, I set this wrong. That's supposed to recognize its own address from Central. It's not going to matter very much. Um, so we're, our, our count for how many spaceships are on the way to this specific outpost, which is only recorded here, is going to be lower than it should be. You are headed for Zakhal orbit, and so are you. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Yeah, the individual outposts are responsible for counting how many ships are on the way here versus how many core frags we've got. Um, so that we don't send 50 ships to pick up, like, one core frag. We've got to pick this up. Um, but yeah, the counter, if it goes negative, it'll just go back to zero. So that'll sort itself out. That's the one... Part of configuring this thing, I forgot to change. 
moon orbit 1010, moon orbit 1010. Yeah, so that's listening to central, and when it hears its own name, it adds uh, spaceship 1 to the counter over here. And here comes our ship. Bringing gifts of cables and power packs and media defense ammo. And why are we not landing? Oh, because there's already a ship here. Sneaky. We're not going to run out of space for the... No, it's fine. 55, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so Core Egg Hauler 47 is on its way back. It's got plus 11 on the memory cell for where to land. So it should be landing here quite soon. It's a very short trip. I think we'll hang around and double check that everything's working correctly, especially since I haven't... Uh, I haven't played with this system in a while. And with this version of Combinators, there's no, there's no making notes. There's no commenting our code. So it's pretty easy to, uh, to forget how things work with your own stuff. Have to decode it again from scratch. Okay, where is Agent 47? ETA, 22 seconds. Fantastic. Uh, and we already put bots here, right? We did not. Oh, yeah, no, they shouldn't where the spaceship is. That's why I put the storage there. Ah, don't cross. No, no. Why are you like this? Oh, my heart. All right. There go our core fragments. Here goes our crinite, which I forgot to filter over here. And morning, Ian Noah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And there goes our powder. It's a very quick recipe. I'll just check that all this at least goes where it needs to. Cool, cool, cool. It's alive. And we've already got our heavy oil. And there's our cryonite rods. Nice soon. Might take a little bit more to actually saturate this thing. Is this a new set of blocks, or why did it fail? Uh, fail? No, we added a crinite outpost. It may just be the demand for crinite as we're spamming modules, but suffice to say, we're no longer able to keep up with crinite with just this planet, or at least uh, just the, I think it's 16 drills that we've got on this planet. Uh, no, I think it's like 25. Yeah, we've got 25 core drills on Hagen. For a total of 107.16 core frags per second. Uh, and that, or slightly less than that because of where we've put the bottlenecks, has been not enough. Uh, the entire planet has... Uh... 25, 
35... Uh, the, the, yeah, the entire planet has 41 core seams, but we're pretty deep into diminishing returns already. To double the amount that you get from the first drill, you need four drills. It's one to the power of two, two to the power of two, three to the power of two, and so on. So nine, 16, 25 drills. Uh, 25 gives us the equivalent of five times the first drill. So we would need 36... Uh, we, we would need 11 more drills to get 20% more core fragments um, off of this planet. So we can... If, if, if we tap every single core seam on the planet, we can get like... 22% more, something like that. Instead of doing that, or maybe as well of it as it, um, we've got this very small but very nearby Rhinite moon over here, where we got every single one of the 16 drills for a grand total of 62 per second. So we added like 50% more. Assuming the spaceships keep up with that, which I don't see why they shouldn't. Oh, that specific belt is already saturated. Which means these two machines are not outputting as fast as they should. Um... I could merge it into these two belts? Or I could, like, prioritize input from this side. That's probably fine. Is it, though? I think this is only going to one machine. It is. That's not going to cut it. Um... Where would be the neatest place to merge this in? Do we have... room for an underground over here? We do on this side. This one's a little bit more awkward. I guess we can make it work. Spaghetti. Don't tell me the last two are missing. There we go. Uh, and in that case, I suppose, technically, we should splitter this. That might be okay. Might actually cause problems with, uh, tier 9 modules. I guess we'll see. Use priority? Yeah, we tried that. I could, of course, also consider completely overhauling this, but I really don't feel like doing that right now. We've done a bunch of complete overhauls of what we thought were endgame builds. Well, some of them we thought were endgame builds. Crystals are not making it to the end of the belt. Because we shouldn't expect them to with this module configuration. That's probably fine. More to the point, it is probably, hopefully enough to bump up our cryonite rod production to the point where we keep up with our demands. Alright. Let's head back to the mall. And then... And then I'm not sure what. Cryonite powder. 
That's iron. Granite Corfrax. Fantastic. Look at how those rocks got nice and cleaned away. Why do, Why is this asymmetrical? How are your Arcos doing? Uh, good point. Arcosphere, Arcostrosity. We have 2244 Arcospheres. That's not too bad. Looks like we finished launching them all. Let's pack it up. Pack up the one side first because... We want to minimize the risk of asteroids as we clear all of this out at once. Might need... All of this storage is... No, not quite full. That's fine. I was going to say, they might have picked up a rock or something, so we'd need some storage. They make pretty little patterns, but they're consistently inconsistent. And then they leave individual tiles that a bot has to... Oh, that's right. I think they always only pick up one tile. They can place four tiles at once, but they can only pick up one at a time. New bots will be very nice. They really, really will. Alright. Pick up the media defenses. We do have these point defenses as backup. So hopefully that's enough. And then we need to go back to... Moon Orbit 1180. Uh, via Foenestra. The big roboport can't actually keep up with them? Yeah. I mean, it's not like a supercharger, but it is pretty fast. It's very, very fast compared to vanilla. 20 times 5 megawatt recharge rate each. Actually, I wonder if... No, it's not like we're having a power problem. We should get back to researching robot speed. whole lot of nothing and then massive bursts of activity for the roboport. Alright, and I don't want to forget to decon these storage chests. Let's go home. And bring back 44 Arcospheres. Nice. How are our Arcos doing before we get those back though? Oh, decently. Not great. It seems like... I wonder if we need, like, another balancer or something. Because it seems like the, uh... 
As long as we're doing something with the arcospheres, the outputs are always imbalanced. The balancer will eventually sort these out, but like, apparently not while we're actually needing the arcospheres. Need a better balancer, this time with new modules. I meant new combinators. Thinking I might do a K2 playthrough, just K2. They do have some fun toys. Myth, uh, Mithy, welcome in. Ian Noah as well. Well, this is at least functional, but there's always a shortage of certain spheres. I am seriously considering, like, doubling just the machines that spit out Arcosphere C, for example. Or maybe we'd be better off with, like, not trying to do all this in one place and splitting up the uh, instances of Arcosphere consumers and balances. They're not actually consumed, but that's what I'm just going to call things that incidentally flip Arcospheres to do something else. Yeah, we're never keeping up with Tesseracts. Where's our ship? ETA... Oh, it's already almost halfway to Foenestra. That's like a quarter of the journey. Why are we constantly... What? We just keep adding more construction parts. Oh my god. So we've got hundreds of construction bots just hovering here. I guess that's fine. Actually, I'm not sure how fine that really is. If we've run out of space to store the construction bots in the mall, it's not going to be very funny. Okay. Uh, how many Cryonite Core Franks have we got right now? Three ships on the way back. That might be a little excessive, to be honest. Um... Well, that's not Cryonite. They're probably all just waiting to drop off at the moment. Nope, this one is mid-flight. If we're bottlenecking on the processing... Which we definitely are. The processing of the dropped off Cryonite Core Franks. And we're still not getting enough Cryonite Rods. Then I guess I really should move the bottleneck. Should probably build another one here. I really want your blueprints for the trains. Uh, you can find them on the Discord. Including blueprint books of just just everything, although it's not that well organized. Uh, but yeah, if anything's... I, I, I do mean to update the uh, saved game upload pretty soon as well. But if there's anything you don't understand or anything you want, by all means... Just ask for it on the Discord. It's about time I decon this. It's been sitting there for ages. And we turned off the inputs a long time ago as well, but it's not really accomplishing anything. It's really just going to be a little bit of a pain to move the rare metals. How about we make an active provider for the rare metals instead of using a decon train to pick them all up?
And just belt it in here. Can I actually see what the container stops? stacks probably not uh yeah we do let's have the first train wait for 100 stacks to get rid of this probably speed it up a little bit by which i mean triple the rate of this belt i don't want the construction train putting red belt in its belly So let's do it this way. Where the heck am I? There we go. Uh, and I really don't care about deleting the fluids here. It's all quite cheap. Stuff that comes from infinite sources on the planet. is here. Not as much as I expected. And now I have no inventory space to help move this. That's a whole lot of mess in there, indeed. What are we... Uh, zero, zero, zero. I think we should just send the construction train back and get it reset. Just empty everything out. Because it'll end up with some split stacks and the bots waiting to fly back there and stuff. Absolutely love... Roboports in cargo wagons. I just wish the cargo wagons had some trash slots as well. That would help a lot. God, that'd help even more than I already realized, actually, because... You wouldn't even need the loading system to remove stuff that doesn't belong. Should I just download the last save game and grab blueprints from that? Uh, you can, but you could also grab just... I say just the blueprint book. How big is the blueprint book? Um, let's see. I think this is it. 12 meg. Yeah. This blueprint book with all of its sub books... All the, um, everything it contains is 12 meg. Which is not a large file size these days, but for blueprints, that's kind of a lot. Uh, 
load, load, load the train. I guess we're just waiting for this belt to run out. Don't really need the construction train back here. And we finally cleared this out. Gently down the belt, indeed. There we go. And we finally have a train coming. Let's tell it to... that's going to be full. See how much is left after we take a hundred stacks. It doesn't load as fast as I thought it does. It's still pretty quick. Give it a hand. Alright, so whatever we've... oops. Whatever we've got left... It's less than one cargo wagon. I don't think there's anywhere... for a short train to deliver... Um... Rare metals, though. So I guess we'll probably just grab the trash train. Take it back to the mall. Only took seven seconds to paste the blueprint string into Factorio, indeed. Yeah, it... Uh... I, th I think it's Discord. Uh, I don't think it was a change in Factorio, but at one point they changed something. It used to take way, 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 way longer uh, to paste all that into into Discord. Like, literally, everything would freeze for, I don't know, a minute or three. And you'd think the... Uh, uh, actually, wait here a sec. You'd think the computer had frozen. Okay, home, James. Still got a bunch of these old... wind turbines lying around. Uh, I guess we're just dumping them into that robot network now. There are no construction bots here? Alright. And what should we fix next? Did we... We finally got rid of all that excess biomatter. Cool, cool, cool. Let's grab the decon train. Where did I put it? Is this it? Yes. Why are the bots hovering? Who do those bots belong to? Uh, probably this robot network here. I'll just temporarily make a... Where is it? Make a request for wind turbines. Welcome in, Westy. 
All right, let's head over there in case there's any fiddly stuff I want to do myself. But I'm pretty sure we can get this done with just the deconstruction train. There's no solids left over, so it should be pretty straightforward. Fantastic. And once more with feeling. And say goodbye to these old builds. Nice soon. Uh, are we going to run out of room? Maybe. been at this playthrough so long I'm not sure he's trying to win. We already won. What do you mean? That was ages ago. We're just trying to reach our humble goal of continuous three per second science. No matter what type of research we're doing. Don't need cliff explosions here. Uh, we also want to get rid of this, actually. Might have some room in the spooder. Fantastic. Begone, old science block. Oops, we've still got bite of research data here. Uh, we're still trying to belt that away. I haven't broken the belts or anything. Nope. Wait, where does the belt go? Over here. Okay, cool. Maybe I should just make another container over this way. That way we can get rid of this now. Let's do that. Also, my inventory is crying. Maybe I should have turned off my robot port there. I do see those wind turbines, but... Well, actually... Nope, decon train is out of range. Didn't know there was infinite research in space exploration? Of course there is. Even if it was just extending the infinite research from... from vanilla, that would do it. Alright. There we go. That should be enough to get rid of everything that's left over here. And then we can get rid of the belt as well. I'm 18% of the way through Factory Spaceship 12. Nice. What are we up to? Factory Spaceship 7. I don't really see the need to make ships that big. Because they're not just better. Let's uh, empty out the spooter and our pockets. Actually, how long do I have to wait for this belt to run out? A little while. Back to the mall. Only reason is to attempt to make the fastest ship ever? Yeah, pretty much. Surely there's a sweet spot 
and it and you you can't just make faster and faster ships by making it bigger and bigger, right? Why are we not removing the steel plate? Oh, we are. It's just that the trash slots are full. I see how it is. It's a lot of junk. That'll have to do for now. Um, hey, it's empty. Get out of here. This one too. And all of this. And all of that. I'll send the decon train past there. In the near future. Easier to just do a few clicks. And what about this one? That's still going to take some time to run out. We haven't been doing military science for a while. Maybe we should. Just to get rid of it. What research can we do? Artillery range? Anything relevant? I don't think so. It's not like we're worried about the biters at this point. Let's just knock this off. Is that actually going to research, or are we still missing something? Nope, it's going to research. And we're not missing anything for the moment. Cool, cool. Um, I was here to place... Oh, I turned off my robots, that's why. I guess there's not that much left over here. We can save the decon train a trip. It's probably still recovering. No, it's good to go. That's a little surprising. Regardless, that should get rid of those belts. And then we've only got one of the old science builds left. Cool, cool, cool. It would only take a handful of rod sixes. Uh, prod 9s, rather. I guess there's these ones as well. I didn't realize you could put prods in the satellite rocket silos. Probably can't when we build them in space. It's only these ones on the ground. I'll not tell T-Hacks about the few rail stubs that he forgot. What do you mean? No. Frickin' rail stubs. <sighs> At least we can deal with it with a couple of clicks. Okay. So what's our next bottleneck? Uh, Cryonite's still probably recovering, so we might not find out for a little while. Yeah, it's definitely not keeping up. Or at least, it's got a lot of catching up to do. Trinite Rod, last hour. We didn't double it, we only jumped it up by like 30-40%. But that's not a bad thing. That, that, that's not a bad effort.
It wasn't that long ago that this was more than enough. These dips would have been because we stopped consuming chronite rods, not because we weren't making them. Weren't able to make them. So, I imagine that this will catch up to being saturated again. You increased it by 60%? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's like it used to be 30-40% lower. That's decent. Beads! That's a bottleneck that we need to shift, and it, we had to shift it because of cryonite rods. We probably maybe don't need another build for the beads, but we could definitely prod it. Let's do that. I, I think, yeah, because beads is a bottleneck, or was a bottleneck, for holmium, and holmium is a bottleneck for a lot of stuff we care about. So, it really is a pretty small investment to put uh, 1632 prods over here. Wait, 32? I've got 42. Get them indeed? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure we built this for tier 9 modules. That's why there's so much gap in the output belts. So this should be all the beads we ever need. I'm not calculating that right now, I'm just going by my old habits. Well, not so old habits. Where we try to estimate... Based on previous consumption, double it or triple it. And hope that that's going to be all we need in the future. Let's see if we can cram it all under one build. One one build without very many modules. We've got just enough speed modules to confirm that we have one more than we need. Perfect. So, how fast are we making beads now? Almost saturating the belt. Production... Production just about doubled. So we were at... 13k per minute, and we're now at 40k per minute almost. It's dipping into 38, 39k. Uh, that'll probably help. Dare I say. That's three, three and a sixth stacks per second. With a stack size of 200. That's pretty good. Uh, and what's the max rate just for Holmium that we could need those at the moment? That's going to be six times this. Uh, 342... 343 per second. 6.33 per second. For 35 cryonite rods a second. Cool. How fast are we able to make the cryonite rods? Theoretically, but not actually, about 180 per second. Tripled production, indeed. Uh, Sprint, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So... Let's see. Beads. Uh, one minute ago jumped up. Cryonite rod consumption. Uh, also just about doubled. But this should be way more than we actually need. We hope. Why is the plastic so slow? Oh, I think we put blue belt here to show... No, we put blue belt here because this would overlap. But we're actually doing a little bit of sneaky belt weaving. But I think we all, uh, we also put blue belt here just to show that the input rate 
doesn't have to be that high. 17 per second on each side, 18 per second. Even with maxed out modules, it's less than half a belt. But why is the plastic coming through so slowly? Oh, I see. Wait, no I don't. Cryonite is getting consumed at the same rate. Belts don't care about stack size. And it's all on the same shared half belts. I don't understand. Oh, I better know what it is. No? I don't understand why, with the same rate of consumption here, the cryonite rods are backed up and the plastic is trickling in. We haven't had a plastic shortage, I'm pretty sure. We need more module 9 production? Yeah, it's happening. Bit by bit. Uh, let's see. Last hour. Point three per minute for these two. Point three point two point one for the last ten hours. Point one point one point two for the last fifty. But this should have dramatically shifted the uh, holmium cable bottleneck. I hope. I certainly hope with the increased productivity bonus, we don't actually need as much cryonite as it seemed like. That's weird. Why is the powder such... No, that does make sense. Oh, this isn't spitting out at full rate. Because a lot of this half is going to this half. Yeah, we're not doing a big merge and split. Probably should. Well, are these all saturated? No, they're not. Alright, fine, we'll go change that again. Do what I should have done in the first place. So I already see beads at all six stations here now. I, I don't think it's going to take very long before this is just sitting saturated. Being a lazy bastard always comes back to bite you. <laughs> Indeed. Plastic will back up shortly. Yeah, I imagine. If it doesn't run out. Nope, oh, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. There's like a whole trainload of beads here by the time this train leaves. That's fantastic. Yeah, hopefully blue beads will just look like red beads in a little while. All right, um, why don't we just do, how many belts? We're doing like five belts to the left. Why don't we just put this here like I should have done to begin with? Not gonna need a splitter. Forgetting something. All right. So we should soon see. Let's see. 
We're actually short on cryonite powder because this is supplying this only. And all of this powder is getting direct belted down here. That's completely full. So shouldn't we sometimes be getting... doop a -doop. that didn't take long. Let's do another one. I thought I calculated... Oh, we're not actually getting 307 cryonite powder per second. Because the modules are only tier 6, and the ratio changes. This is slightly negative on cryonite. So we're getting like 3 quarters of 307 per second-ish. Like 230 per second. And this can probably consume all of it, yeah. So that's why we're not getting cryonite powder accumulating over here and getting delivered over here. But it looks like... Looks like it might not matter. How fast is this? 231 per second. And we're bringing th three belts over, right? Well, that belt's kind of useless. Let's fix that as well. But how? There's like no room here. Well, I guess if that's not filling up, it doesn't actually matter, right? Two thirty-one per second. What the individual machines need. Thirty-three. Is three belts. One, two. We really do need that third belt going in here. Both, to both of these containers. Somehow. Uh. Uh. Hmm. What if we swap this around? So we've got one coming from this height, one coming from this height. We've got water coming. Never mind. Thought that was weird. Okay. So both those belts are going to make it to both those containers. Maybe this will start accumulating. At some point now. Although this is going to end up imbalanced. Uh, whatever. I think we're bottlenecked on the actual powder, but not the belts now, though. Yeah, we should be. Now the third belt needs splitting as well, I know, but... 
We should be materially bottlenecked, not belt bottlenecked now. Well, not materially bottlenecked so much as bottlenecked on processing crinate core frags. Yeah. Fine, we'll make another one. We've got, like, multiple ships waiting their turn to land with crinite core frags anyway. And now we're going to end up with even more belt spaghetti. So, what's our highest number for the uh, gold plates? It was 25 or something, right? 26. That's probably it. Yeah, 26. So this is 27. And we might have to bump up this thing. Okay. And everything else should be able to stay the same. I'm pretty sure. Don't have any Logibots on my person. Can we put them in the construction tray? I don't really want to. Let's borrow the spider. Get it to pick up a few Logibots. Logi bots, logi bots. And floor train. That reminds me. This does not spark joy. Wait, not that one. This does not spark joy. Also, this thing. Wait, no, that one's fine. Yeah, I can't help but imagine the ships phasing through the wire if there's a cable covering this part. Got to go pick this up as well. Floor train is laboriously lumbering in our general direction. One of two trains that still uses uh, regular locomotives. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, I built this right next to a depot. That's maybe not ideal, but there's not that much train traffic that goes here anyway. Should be fine. Might bump that up to 15, just to be safe. Do you not have construction bots or something? You do have construction bots or something. They're being very lazy. Bruh. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to double this. And do some more belt spaghetti. It'll end up looking a bit tacky. Why are the bots not doing their thing? Wait, we're out of plating. But they're also not placing the stone. Why do we not have plating? Uh-oh. No refined concrete. No water? Uh, did we, like... What? There's water coming. 
Oh, we broke this. This is supposed to request water. What? Wait, wait, what? I'm so confused. I thought we calculated this would net consume water, not produce it. I could switch it away, uh, switch this around so that it can both provide and give back water, I suppose. So if the train's trying to drop off water, it'll be a negative one water signal. Bruh. I do remember saying we'll see what happens with this, but still that is a bit surprising. Nice to see some squirrels about, of course. Premier Squirrel Chasing Channel. Don't tell me we actually missed out on... No, we didn't. Feral is doing just fine. What's the rate of this? 7k per second... It's only like 2k per second down this way. I don't think we ever ever need to revisit the shape of beryllium ingots. But that said, I really liked the improvement yesterday. For which build was it? Oh, it was copper. Wait, did we replace that? We didn't actually replace it yet. Bruh. Let's go do that. Um, but first, you'd better go back. Whoops. Go back for some floor. Which is very slowly getting made now. Does this not even have a beacon? I mean, realistically, it doesn't need it, but... When stuff like this happens, it's a little bit of a pain. Alright, anyway, where's our spooter? Aziz Light! Aziz Light? Should have the robots in it. It do. Beacon the floor? Eh. Is that one of the ones I made? What do you mean? I added it when you kept saying you couldn't see anything in Terraria, if that's what you mean. Okay, give me those robots. We can at least get that sorted out. And... no. What are you doing? Oh. I guess that's fine. No, it's not fine, because they're not going to move the stuff to the storage chests. God damn it. Construction train. Build what you can over here, please. Mataku. Come to think of it, uh, I guess it's a bit late now, but I wonder if, like we did with the outposts, we could have put a little bit of different floor under the numbers to make it look cool. Um, do I have to just pick the characters individually here? No. So if we use, like, refined concrete... I'm not super excited about that. How about... Light reinforced? That doesn't really do it for me either. I don't think we're going to use hazard concrete. Definitely not. 
Nah. We, we can probably leave that as it is. Oh, a ship already landed. Is that bad? Uh, gotta make sure the bot, the shields don't block the bots here. And I don't want to forget to move this stuff. We did already place all the reinforced hazard concrete. So I don't think... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Don't bring another one. No, please stop. No. No. Why did I not think of that? Antimatter's fine. Please don't bring... Ammo. Did it already pick it up? It did. No. It's, all, it's also... No, it's not bringing sulfuric acid. That's fine. Doopa doop. Ah, yeah, I should have turned off the LTN requests. Because in the seconds that it takes me to pick up the media defense ammo and move it over here... LTN's going to say, we have no media defense ammo at this train stop. Why do I have crinite powder? That makes sense. And it's not... It's not accumulating. Was that enough to get rid of our old military tech cards? Apparently not. Why don't we stop? Rude. Very rude. But no, don't do it again. Oh my god. That's never happening. So we made another mess. I'll have to go sort that out at some point. Uh, why don't we keep spamming military research? So we can consume the old military tech cards. Shields still being blocked? What do you mean? Oh, shields are still blocking builds, yes. Side ones. Let me in. Alright. There should be no ghosts except for tiles here. Fantastic. Alright, so all that should be functional. We're just missing the floor. Uh, and of course, there's no output for the cryonite yet. I do have some purple belt on me. So we're going to copy this more or less over here. But we'll change things around a bit. Is the beacon? No, there's two beacons. I thought that was a car. What is going on with this roundabout? Oh no. That's going to be in the way. Easily remedied. Let's 
Let me fix that first. Is there any weird wiring over here as well? Nope. How much floor do we have? 1.5k, that's not going to cut it. I might just remove the ghosts for the floor here for the moment. Uh, tile ghosts. There we go. Burns the retinas, but we'll we'll fix it soon. Okay. Um It's going to get wonky. Are we not using this belt anymore? No, there's no more cryonite. Wait, what? How is there no more cryonite? What? Oh. No? Yes? Maybe? Um, but why did it stop from this side? Because this got backed up? Maybe. It does drain pretty quickly. Yeah, that might have been it. Okay. Might actually make that belt go directly over there. Regardless... Let's get some corners over here. I guess I'll put that in the middle. Could maybe put this down here instead. Fly away. Is that filtered? Yes, it is. And just make that go directly where it needs to. And then we've got one more, which is going to be this one. So they kind of crisscross. Both sides go to both sides. Um, might want to turn this around. And then we can easily Melt this over here. Uh, we do get less than a full belt of sand, right? Uh, that's not true. Okay. I see how it is. Can't quite squeeze that down here. Get. There's already an underground here. Uh... <sighs> Good grief. Why don't we just belt this down like so? Shouldn't have bothered turning this around. And 
And then... And then bring this over here. Need the train. That should be more than enough. And... Should have made this bigger as well. Do we have a 6x6 six six in the train? We do... Four belts here, we do. That's not quite right. Also, I've got all this crinite in my pockets. Get out of here. And that's saturated again, which is going to stop this side eventually. Oh, construction train's back. Wait, please. Give me up. And... There's three more belts to connect. Spaghet one. What? Where's the other one? What? Oh, I see. like this is fine. No, it doesn't reach. Oh, no. I guess we'll need another one. Or just a bit more belt. reach either. Alright. Wait, where the heck is this supposed to connect? What? I'm so confused. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that would be 12. 12 belts. Okay. Now, is this going to finish? It's not moving. Why is it not moving? Because these are facing the wrong way. Noised. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. This build is getting wild. Yeah. I wanted to just slap this together, and then we ended up needing to expand it. And in the end, I probably should have just... built something a lot more deliberately designed. From the very beginning. Welcome in Ninja Dogs as well. Hope you're doing well. 
you to see again. Hope you all can't hear the yappy dog. Hey, we're starting to see cryonite powder accumulate. Oh, well, this side was like that before, but this is not flickering anymore. So I do believe we shifted our bottleneck. That's good. Do we have some floor? 3.6k. How fast is it getting made? 360 per minute. Uh, we need like 5,000. About 14 minutes. So like half an hour real time. Remember the left side is imbalanced by getting more belts? Uh... What, over here? Also, I notice we only have five output belts here. This build is so sketchy. We don't need that much throughput yet. What's the max rate for this? 337 per second. Is 3.7 belts. So it should be okay for now. We'll give it a proper redesign when we're ready to prod 9 everything in Cryonite. What a glorious day that would be though. This is hardly a highest priority. Especially if it turns out... Yeah. Yeah, I think our main consumer of cryonite is uh, not going to be a problem for much longer. So it is imbalanced, yeah, but it'll saturate. Very good. So we should see Holmium flowing everywhere we look over here. Fantastic. Let's see the graph. Nice. That's as consistent as it gets. I'm sure Holmium plate looks similar. Nope, not really. Oh yeah, the copper. Oh, we've been chasing this squirrel for so long, I completely forgot about the other squirrel. Let's head down and replace... That's right here. Replace the first of our copper builds with our improved copper build. Again. Iterate, iterate, iterate. That's not where we're supposed to be going. Squirrel? Squirrel. Alright, so we've drained out basically everything here. The sulfuric acid is going to stay. Don't care about the dirty water. We haven't gotten rid of... Oh. There's a reason we haven't gotten rid of the pyroflux yet. How much is here? Several thousand. We can speed this up. Uh, if you remove a pipe or something, any kind of fluid container, if the container next to it can fit all of the contents of this one, it'll just push it in instantly. Uh, and that way... And once we get it all down to here, this will pump a lot faster. I don't care about the dregs of pyroflux in here. Hmm... 
let's make sure we turn off the requests we already did. Uh, we pretty much already got rid of the dirty water. Fantastic. Pumps, uh, or more to the point, the large storage tanks are going to stay. Alright. So, delete, 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 and that's going to pump a whole lot faster. There we go. Almost 2k per second. Much quicker. Where are these bots coming from? What? What if? Oops. We'll leave the train stops here, or at least the bulk rail loaders. And that is empty. Fantastic. Alright, let's make room for the bots. As they try and put things where they don't belong. And pick up the spaceship floor. I don't remember where the floor goes, though. Did we actually blueprint this yet? I don't think we did. We've got it sitting in the editor space. Down here. That, that's not it. Don't scare me. Um... Um, you're kidding. Did we not... Did I delete it before I blueprinted it? No... Okay, load game. No, I'm kidding. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> That's a little bit upsetting. Well, I remember it well enough. Let's start with this. Load, save, copy, and come back? Maybe. Uh, definitely didn't lose a blueprint. Save. The character... We didn't take a break today or anything yet, no. So I wouldn't have saved it. Besides, I remember this was the start of the stream today. Thanks, special characters, right? It's not exactly a difficult design to replicate, but all the little fiddly bits might have taken a few minutes. Rouse, rouse. Okay. Editor. 
There it is. Oh, thank goodness. Time to make this blueprint and then put it exactly where we put it last time and realize we did have the blueprint. Perhaps. Did we already do the station names? I think so, yeah. And the requests and stuff. Make sure this is switched off for when we place it. Providers can be left switched on. Blueprint. Ingot. Copper. Uh, T9, copper. Plate and ingot. Let's just call it T9 copper. Snap to 86251. Got to remove the cheat items. It's gonna... For some reason it messes up the X offset. Uh when you remove something like that. So we got to change it again. That's all the cheat items removed. And that should be the build. All right, put it in with all of this stuff. I'm surprised I don't have Oh, I see. We did the tier 9 iron, and then we just, like, copy edited it um, to make the tier 9 copper. Okay. Load. And I might take a break pretty soon. Takes a minute. And then the UPS will be like 10 for like a few seconds. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, up, up. There we go. Alright, so we have our blueprint. Uh, we need quite a bit of spaceship floor in a pretty big square area around the middle. No, the construction train! It's gonna run out of space. Should have brought the decon train here first. Wow! Okay. That was a little scary. Especially since I wasn't moving that fast. Okay. Alright. Let's use the jetpack. Even if we're only jumping over the rail very briefly. Did we make enough room here? Not quite. Still carrying around those regular chemical plants from before. Ravna. Alright, let's see if we made enough room. I believe we did for the floor. And we're gonna need some... I, th I can't remember if it's the same number of thermo facilities actually, but we just direct... We, we, we do the fluids directly, which saves a lot of trouble. We're definitely going to need more spaceship floor. To be precise, we need 746. Which is 15 stacks. Which is going to be a little bit of a problem. We normally do it here. Let 
might just have to empty out. How about rail? Yeah. We'll, we'll empty out most of the rail. That'll be easy enough. Also, we should probably do a reset here. Because we've got a bunch of split stacks and stuff where it doesn't belong. We can only read the contents of the train as a whole, not individual cargo wagons. Which makes it a bit trickier. To keep everything organized. Is this backed up? Kind of. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, and we're also gonna need how many? 16. Uh, what are they called again? Thermo facilities. 16 thermo facilities. Where do we normally put those here? That's just over three stacks. We can fit them. Do we have that many? Uh, probably just enough. Nope, we've got a little bit more. Thank you. I don't know if we're manufacturing those down here. Wait, what? You didn't finish? No. Okay. I see how it is. Welcome in, by the way, turtle. Uh, we're still going to take two trips to place the spaceship floor. I only asked for 400. I am much happier with this layout. We are going to have slightly more thermodynamics facilities as well for the whole block, so I guess that's a, another improvement. And we're going to need the floor train to place the hazard concrete, which has the floor that we're looking for now as well. We'll get it to go place the... Where is it? Oh boy. Um, can I just... Copy all of this. Tiles. The only entities I want are rail. And that way we can... Snap to in the right spot. There we go. That should hopefully get done before the train goes back. Where's our construction train? It still doesn't have enough spaceship floor. We've got 5.2k here. What's the problem? another lap, I guess. Oh, also... Yeah, we don't really need tier 9 modules for the copper just yet. Or maybe ever. Uh, why is this still tier 9? That should probably be 50-50. Minus 80%. 2 megawatt each. Okay. Here comes our train. Did we get the Cryonite block finished properly? There it is. 
just in time to see it finished. Just in time to see it finished. Please don't leave before... before the bots place the rest. Nope, okay, cool. Wunderbar. Now, why aren't we giving this guy a job? Oh, because we never set the, the freaking channels. That's a pretty good reason. And... Boop. Fantastic. Off it goes to Orpheus Orbit with some cables. Wunderbar. Now why don't we have antimatter here actually? Because I switched this off, that's why. Alright, that should be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Even despite that downtime, Rhinite Rods may be accumulating. We've got more than a hundred stacks. It's been a few seconds. Beads have completely saturated, so yes, I do think we're okay for Cryonite now. Fantastic. I think we got all the spaceship floor, we just need the floor train back now. Wait, what? Wrong train. Could you please pay us a visit after you get resupplied? Fantastic. Alright, now we place the blueprint once more. Here it is. Uh, and we give it some, those, those are speed nines. Give it some speed sixes for now. We can't put prods in these things. Oh. Icon has speed modules. Fantastic. Alright, that should be it. One of three hopper upgrades complete. Next time it'll be a copy-paste, it'll be a little bit easier. Uh, we need to switch on the stations. The requester stations, that is. So this will be a little bit faster, uh, it'll have no fluid mechanics to worry about for the flow of molten copper, that'll be a lot more UPS friendly. And the block can provide 33% uh, faster ingots as well. It does kind of have a bit of a redundant advanced chem plant up here, but I don't really mind. It's one machine. Did we forget to... No, we did not. We did forget to connect this one. This is why we double check things. Red wire goes to the logistic train stop output so that we know which fluid we're trying to drop off. We didn't have an accident with that, did we? No, there's no fluid in these pumps. And there's no fluid contamination. Fantastic. Pyroflux is on its way. It's taking longer to get here than I thought it would. It's 
Speaking of which, where's the floor train? Oh, it does wait for 45 seconds of inactivity here. And it's probably getting like one more, yeah, one more piece of black rain force plate every little while. How much has it got? 2.2k? I'm sure that's enough for the remains over here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think I thought about beaconing this, but then we'd have to redo the belts and everything as well. Maybe I should redo the entire concrete block. It's a bit unnecessary. To say the least. Yeah, we already upgraded these to purple. Probably do it with a lot fewer machines though. We do love getting our machine count down. So where's the pyroflux? The pumps are the wrong way around. Good job. There we go. Right when the bots get here as well. Oh, we don't even need this as well. And boop. Nice soup. Don't forget to connect these. Someone probably pointing that out. Are those water undergrounds directly connected to the tanks? Water undergrounds. These things? What, what, do, we, what do we mean? Above the tanks. Yeah, there's a there's like a regular piece of pipe right here. And then an underground. What do you do with the dirty water? Ship it somewhere else. That way we don't have to deal with it at this block. The dirty water is quite slow, so it doesn't really add a lot of strain to the rail network. Okay. One down, two to go. And then we're going to want to do the same thing with iron. Uh, which is going to be a little awkward because we're going to have to mess around with the direct... Oh. Direct piping of molten iron for the steel. Most of these I could rotate. Yeah, I, I could like rotate all of these to get pipes out for the excess molten to go to steel. And steel consumption is quite slow, so uh, fluid throughput is not as much of an issue. With the direct O, indeed. Yeah, we, we can still do the same layout for iron. Um, and I could just pipe away. Or, or I could do another, like, fluid pickup as well. But we're already, like, direct pumping the iron that's right next door to save some some train trips here. But yeah, we, we could easily, like, get some excess molten iron output to the rail network. Could even put another station for it right here, just so it's not sharing with the iron plate pickup. I forgot I had a lot of floor in my trash slots. That could have saved us some time. What a shame. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that layout. I mean, look how much tidier it is. Look how much less 
fluid mechanics we have to deal with. I believe that spider might have some as well. He's got some chemical plants and stuff. We we feel we feely wow. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. All right. Streamer needs food badly. Let's take a little break. Save it with our precious blueprint in tow. And we'll set up some words on stream. Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, it was already ready from yesterday. Um, proper properties. There we go. Okay, words on stream has already started. I'm sure you can manage level one with a little bit of a handicap. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
We good? Fantastic. Alright, let's continue with SpaceX. Where I'm just making a few little preparations uh, to upgrade the next copper block. I'm just placing a few pipes and pumps. We're gonna get rid of... Uh, we, we, t we already turned off the requesters. Uh, we're going to get rid of my reflux that's already here. Actually, I might just leave this disconnected. Uh, oh, research is done again. Let's go one more. We have a prereq missing. What's the prereq for this? We have to do stronger explosives? All right. I guess that makes sense for artillery. So stronger explosives is the prereq for artillery shell range over and over and over again, and speed as well. Until we get to stronger explosives 18. Sure. So we could actually just do this indefinitely until we reach the end. But our leaderboard view? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord Sari. Uh, I didn't get rid of this enriched copper. Is this Buddha empty? Basically, yes. Um, I think I need to manually add some... Some zeros for the batteries and stuff. There we go. Let's get rid of this enriched copper. All right. How long till the copper runs out here? Not that long. Actually, I should carry a bunch of uh, spaceship floor myself. It'll make it easier to transition across. 784. Well, there's already some in the old build. Uh, no, not like that, please. No. 588, so we only need like 200 to switch it over. Don't worry, the modders will figure something out to make the logistics look still as bad in 2.0? Wait, what? Seeing logistics like this is making me really grateful for the changes. Um, what changes are they making to logistics? All right, this time don't forget to get rid of the enriched copper. Not enough room. Uh, no wonder we didn't get rid of it. Okay, how about this then? That is not getting consumed as fast as I thought it would. Actually, shift C should work here now. Just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we're pumping over the dirty water. We're going to be pumping over the pyroflux as soon as the copper runs out. Yeah. 
taking its sweet time. Oh, there's tons of molten copper here as well. It doesn't add up to as much copper ingot as you'd think, but still. And that's also saturated. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is actually going to take longer than I thought. Um, why don't we borrow... Oops. The copper ingots that we've already got from there. And switch off this provider. I really wish they'd add station naming via circuits. That would potentially let you build your own LTN, right? Is that the idea? I guess we could just steal some of the copper from here. That, that would definitely hurry things up a little bit. I still wish T-Hacks would use the tier 3... Wait, what? Flat solars? I do use the tier 3 flat solars. What do you mean? We've got them right here. In the rail grid? You mean upstairs? That's a lot of work to replace them. Do you know how many flat solar panels there are here? For a full block, there's 48. Uh, there's 12 per, like, connection point between the blocks. Uh, uh, more to the point, the amount of ground we have to cover as well. That's going to take some time, and then we have to dance around all the existing RoboPort blocks that are there as well. You'll never get it completely covered if you never start. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's only like... let's see... It, it's double, right? Yeah, it's actually double the power. But, but we're not even getting that much from solar panels at this point. Um, we're getting 4.4 gigawatt from flat solar panel 2s, 10 gigawatt from the intergalactic transceiver, that's just free, uh, singularity reactors, high temp turbines, etc. I don't think we're spending as much power as we sometimes do, though. We have to build for peak, like when we've got more... Matter fabricators running. Which we haven't even filled out here. Alright, how's... How are we doing over here? Molten copper is still going to take a while to train out, I think. Well, there's no reason I can't pick these up already. And get rid of the pyroflux. I guess if we add some pumps, it should be a bit faster. Arco links? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go that far. Like, obviously you could put Arco Link chests all over the place and the logistics of the game is basically just solved. 
There's not really an interesting problem there. Where's our... Oh, here it is. It's been here a while. Now, 44... Arco chests. Could could you stop? Arco forty four, and then head over here, please. Fantastic. Hello, Pospec. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Useful for pushing UPS limits? Yeah. That actually takes longer to load. I realized. But that should give us another 44 Arco Spheres. Over here. And maybe we can actually start to see... Oh! Like that. We can actually start to see Arco Sphere C in storage at all times. That'd be nice. Okay, have we spammed enough science to get rid of the old military tech cards yet? Not even close. Oh boy. Uh, are we out of any inputs here? No. No, we are not. Okay, then. And we are using this system to bring up the military tech cards. Yes. How did it end up being completely full? What the... That's a little disturbing. Well, spam, spam, spam that science. Now we're just living off the remaining molten copper here. How much is here? 1.5 million. How long does that take to get rid of? Uh, 428 seconds. Seven and a bit minutes. Zedius would like a nuke. Zedius shall have a nuke. Let's keep getting the uh, belts. Well, how about these solar panels? Adios. That actually did get quite a few belts as well. I say we take off and nuke the entire site. Kill belts, please. <laughs> All right. It's the only way to be sure. And I want to have name and base. Okay. Kill belts. Right about here. Boom. That actually does hit more than I thought it would. There we go. Alright, so the name in base. Or... 
plus back. Upgrade to gold. Right about here. How's that? What a waste of 200 red belts. I'm sure you'll miss those. Yeah. It's a tough sacrifice, but we'll have to live with it. Alright, we can decon this now. Oh, let's, uh... It's not exactly expensive, but let's salvage the sulfuric acid, because why not? Very, very easy to do. Start cleaning up these old belts. Uh, we already moved all this dirty water. Not that the dirty water is particularly valuable. But it was easy to do regardless. And we're already down to 1.1 million Molten copper over here. God, imagine how much, uh... Imagine the thermal mass of that. Do not try this in Oni. We need that recycler for all the nonsense we don't care about. Oh, the, uh... The quality thing. I guess I could put some high tier modules in here for the moat. Do I have no high tier speed modules? 29 megawatt each, that's kind of expensive, but we can manage. One million remains. I guess I could start picking up the floor as well. That part's gonna be the same. I was on Colonel Will's stream last night and I saw some quality 5 labs with quality 5 beacons and modules, something like crafting speed 87. Good grief. So basically instead of like super strong machines like in late SE or K2, we just get completely busted regular machines. I'm going to have those little 3x3 three three assemblers spinning like crazy. Eight hundred and fifteen thousand. Yeah, that's going down pretty uh, kind of quick at this point. Now, why are these... Why are these furnaces switching on and off? I just saw from the lighting... Yeah, 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 sometimes it's switching off. Why? We have no shortage of... I ref oh, wait, maybe the ratio is different with the tier 6 modules. Uh, it is. Yeah, we don't get as much molten copper here. That's okay, I guess. Maybe SE.1 will be ready by the time Factorio 2.0 comes out, who knows? We'll see. Uh, 
Uh, what should we do while we wait for this? What is your problem? No path. Because we broke this. Nice to be able to take beads for, for granted again. So let's see what our stats look like for all things Holmium. Uh, Cable would be the best example, I think. Wow. Oh, that's only a minute. Alright, so... Plate is not keeping up with Cable by the looks of it. Because I doubt that Cable is saturated. Uh, Plate is kind of spiky. Ingots are pretty steady. Plate is probably spiky because it's able to consume more... Then we've got ingots coming in. Uh, where do we make holmium cables these days? Over here? Oh, we literally just caught it running out. So we know we're still not making enough plate to satisfy our cable demands. Cable overall, in the last hour or ten hours, that is so spiky. It looks like we're getting more area under the graph lately, I suppose. I should certainly think so, since we fixed the beads bottleneck. We got rid of all the other Holmium cable builds, right? Because we definitely don't need more than this one. Yeah, we did. And it's not a bottleneck of logistics. Because this is empty. Yeah, we're definitely running out of Holmium cable. This is one of our biggest consumers, I think, quantum processors. And they're never, ever satisfied. Sense is also a target, man. Is Solo deving a free mod? Oh, the uh, SE? Why is it so hard to scroll? Those engines are a straight copy-paste from SE. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not, right? Alright, um... I think we just need to prod... Holmium more than anything else. I really don't want to expand, like, I, I don't want to, like, expand this out to 12 blocks for ingots. I doubt it's necessary in the long run. It's going to take a lot of prods, though. What about just prodding the Core fragments. And speeding up their processing, because apparently we're keeping this saturated. Core fragment, holmium. Looks pretty consistent. Oh, that's production. I want to know consumption. Uh, core fragment, holmium. Well, I guess if that's consistent, this is probably going to be consistent. It's very consistent over the last few hours. Over the last, like, 48 minutes. Presumably it was bottlenecked... Yeah, for, like, most of the last 10 hours, I think it was bottlenecked by... Missing blue balls. But... 
I'm pretty sure we need high tier prods. Uh, how many do we have? 10 plus 27. Ooh. Better than I was expecting. And 18 efficiencies. Oh, 13 efficiencies over here. So 37 prod modules. Uh, we can do 24, 48. We can't quite do even a single block. We could probably give it speed and efficiencies, though. How many of those do we have? 25 speeds. Well, we can definitely do a beacon or two. Why don't we do that? We're just about empty on the molten copper here now. Fantastic. Delete it in the right order. So we don't lose much of it. Fantastic. Alright, we're done here. Honestly, if I was feeling a bit lazier, I could have just deleted all that copper. But we do get a lot of it from spaceships, so... Maybe not the optimum play. Let's temporarily unlimit... Wait, that doesn't help. No, let's just grab this... How much is here? Oh, damn. Okay, turn this around temporarily. Belt from here into here. Unlimit this one. And then we can store the rest of this copper. 90 per second is like two stacks, almost. Shouldn't take very long. And as for the plate, uh, we can probably get rid of that quite easily as well. Can't move attachment points during runtime. Attachment points. If you had double the legs. What are we talking about? Spidertron. Need a separate separate prototype for each quality of Spidertron. What are we trying to do? I'm so confused. Is this empty yet? Almost. Alright, why don't we just start dealing with the floor? Probably run out of inventory space. I guess there's no real need to empty this out, actually, but it's just about done now, so we may as well let it happen. Yeah, I think I will just go for the same layout, but we'll steal, uh, we'll just rotate the machines a little bit and steal some uh, molten iron to make steel, which is what we've been doing anyway. Bots are upset.
Hurry up and get in my belly. And then wait till some arbitrary threshold of recharge on the personal roboports. And boom. Fantastic. How much is left here? Almost nothing. Uh, we really don't need to... Well, it would be slightly easier if we place the blueprint with all of this stuff removed. Doop a doop. We're going to run out of storage for the copper ingots. Oh, because we're pushing this in here as well. 22 stacks to go. It's just enough. Looks like we made it just in time. Trying to make a choo choo Charles? Wait, what? <laughs> Talking about the Spidertron leg still? Has someone modded that into Factorio? There is literally a mod to set Spidertron leg count? Interesting. Whoops. Uh. I think we're fine. I effectively pushed the back button on... I think we're fine. What is, for some reason, browser-driven in the chat. Okay. Uh, and now we can fix this. That'll do. Try not to get tricked into getting hit by a train, because the spaceship floor makes us fall to the ground. And... Why do we still have these? Shift. Towels, train stop names. Paste over yonder. Um, I hope my spaceship floor isn't in my trash slots. I don't think it is. I want to keep this in hand until the floor is in place. And then we can build most of it on the spot. Wunderbar. Oh, I didn't even have to move the sulfuric acid. I forgot about that. Whatever. It's fine. We need some... other stuff. We need some fancy floor. This is very important. And I think we're done. That is copper build two of three, ported over. We need another advanced chem plant. Also some thermo facilities. Because we've actually got more of them here now. I do wish... I, I, I do wish when you copy-pasted or blueprinted beacons with modules in, it would actually be consistent with the ordering of these, because that's... I find this rather distracting. There we go. Don't tell me we're short one speed module. We're not. 
There's still a speed 9 in here for some reason. Huh. Let me just double check all of these. Yeah, we do not need to be putting our precious tier 9 modules over here for now. Okay. What, what's your problem? Traffic. That's fine. So all of this should be running by now. Oh, there's no copy here yet. Because... Traffic? Here comes the copper. About this side, looks like it's all working. Fantastic. This is what I like to see. Very nice. Let's do the last one. I don't want to leave this uh, two-thirds finished. I, I guess I should have um, started preparing for this sooner, though. Be a little bit more patient so it takes less effort this time. enough. We'll connect that when we're ready. Oh, is this a problem? Maybe. And the sulfuric acid can stay this time. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, we copy-pasted the whole thing, so the wiring sh should be correct. Yes. Yes, it is. Very good. Alright, what do we got here? 2.1 million... plus... molten copper... Does that rebalance it? It does. Alright, that's good enough. I wonder if the actual rate of copper ingots that we're getting from the new blocks, while the ratio is wrong, is still good enough that this is stronger or about as good as our blocks that we had. In any case, we'll leave that to run for now and come back. Oops. Upgrade me. Come back when that stops moving. Wait, what's in my... What's my backpack right now. Don't need to carry this. That's a lot of bots. Also plating. Also cargo wagons for some reason. All kinds of random junk. Don't need this many prod sixes in my inventory, I don't think. Good gravy. Alright, let's head back. Figure out what comes next.
I do want to upgrade the iron ones as well, but we'll procrastinate that a little bit. Uh, that's right. I was going to put prod seven, uh, prod nine modules in twenty four forty eight. We're just a little bit short, right? Of upgrading one of the Pulmonite Core Fragment blocks. 2737. When do we get some more? Uh, apparently, what we're actually short on here is Prod 7s. We've only got 13 here, that amounts to basically nothing. What's missing down this way? Glass? Surely you jest. No. Oh, there's, there's plenty of glass. What's going on? There's glass here. What? Robots. Alright, I think we need to redesign this from scratch. We'll keep the output station. But we need to use a bunch of belts and or make the bot paths shorter or something. If we're not going to use recipe switching... With the crafting combinators, we still need a lot of machines. That does take up quite a bit of room. But yeah, I think it's about time we redesign this. Because that is not a material bottleneck, and our prod module production is seriously suffering for that. This is going to be a big one. Alright. I'm just going to keep these machines. Not necessarily in this shape, but I want to know... I want to know what I need, at the very least. Oops. Were those all direct insert? Almost. Yeah, there was like a container here, right? But regardless, this is just... thought exercise kind of stuff at this point. Now obviously we want to do as much direct insert as possible. I want to do away with bots somewhat. Don't worry about the inserters for now. I want to somewhat do away with the bots. And try and direct belt everything. God, that's going to be a lot. That is really going to be a lot. Just how many solid resources are we dealing with here? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two. Plus twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-four. Maybe we should split this up again. Oh boy. 34 different solid resources. And we want... Basically the shortest possible path. I think we can maybe... Mm. 
We could maybe get away with a couple of drop-offs for bots to use. And then have a bunch of belts coming from containers. Bottleneck, indeed. Oh dear. Uh, but we kind of need like... A hundred plus stacks. We either need like three small chests. That's probably the way to go. Either like three small chests of storage for each. Let's see. Bulk reel unloader. Some active providers. How many is this? Okay, that's like 35. That's about the number of different resources we need. It was 34, wasn't it? Wait, what? So maybe something a little bit like this. And we could just have... storage like that. That's about as dense as we're getting where the bots only have to travel to the nearest one. That looks terrible. Research more bot speed? We were doing that, but it got stuck for a long time. Well, we can do it for the moment, at least. It's going to help with the Arcospheres, regardless. So if we have something kind of like this on each side, the bots will never have to travel very far. And then we somehow try to lay out the whole thing. This is going to be tricky. Whoa, what? Let's decide where to put each resource based on where it's convenient to build. How many different solids go into each of these? Surely the most go into the blue. One, two, three, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All the tier threes want three different things. All the tier... Okay, so tier one, two, and three want three different solids each. Uh, other than the actual prerequisite module type, and everything after that is plus two. Does that... 
How much does knowing that even help? So like, one, two, three, except all the tier ones share green circuits, all the tier twos share red and green, all the tier threes share red and blue. Okay. Maybe we split this up a bit. Let's say this is... RGB circuits. So this needs to go here, and here, and here. Let's not worry about where the power is going to come from for the moment. Something like that. Uh, that needs red and green, actually. So maybe this could wrap around. Do the same kind of thing in this direction. This is going to end up such a spaghetti monstrosity. I imagine, but depending on if we can make a nice pattern, maybe it won't be so bad. We need to do the exact thing with red circuits into here and into here, and we don't have room. Why don't we spread this out a bit more? for the moment. Why don't we just cover all of that so we don't have to think about it. Get the ketchup out, guys. Spaghetti fest, indeed. Long-handed between assemblers might be useful. Yeah, but they can't take from the input to the other input. Um... No, we should probably... Ugh, it's going to be a little messier than I'd like. No, wait, I've got a better idea. Instead of splitters... Uh, we can have some of the storage down here. Instead of way up here where it looks much worse. So let's say... For the sake of argument... It's all going to stop there. If this is green circuits... It's going to need two tiles on each side. Well, I guess we could put inserters there to save a bit of space. So green circuits like this, red circuits are going to look exactly the same. And any other resources that follow a similar pattern, if there are any, I don't think there are. Reds. 
loser shed between all three of these. So maybe like this. Wait. No, I was going to say maybe we could do a split belt, but if we're going through the containers like that, then not so much. Well, I guess we could still put the containers up here. But then the bot. Yeah, no, we can't. Let's just do blue like this. Long arms don't exactly fit here, but we could make it work. These all share electronic components. A sushi belt with chests, indeed. But maybe... Maybe we could actually find room to, like, put blue and red like this. Save some space over here. For example. We could always have the chests leading to half belts. Uh, and these are not going to be chests, they're just going to be belts. So we'd still have to have all the storage up the top. But that's probably not that big of a deal. Could even move the bulk of them down closer to where the machines are going to be. So kind of like that. And we just have the logistic network chest up there. Uh, why don't... If we're going to use that much space, why don't I just... have like a strong box for each of these? It's the exact same... storage space, but we're not trying to squish them all together up here. Only thing is, we would need to run wire all the way back up to tell LTN what we've got, unless we want to... I, could, I, I guess I could make these like passive providers, just so that uh, Roboport could tell LTN what we've already got. Either way, it shouldn't be too difficult to sort out. Uh, these don't need to be vertically separate, I don't think. So that's already looking a lot more compact. Uh, each of these has one separate solid they also need delivered, though. And then these ones need two. And these ones need one. Hmm. Can you not use belts that pass under the machines and grab from the undergrounds? You can. Just trying to figure out how much space we can actually save here. Because we've got a bunch of train stops that we need to squeeze in as well. Um, Alright, why don't we just help visualize what we need to do here. Actually, I can be a little bit lazier. Oops. No, that's fine.
That one's sulfur. And that one is batteries. Okay. How are we going to get one more item to each of those? More to the point, before we figure that out, let's continue expanding this out and see if it gets worse, which I'm pretty sure it will. So the first... Actually, it should get easier. Because the first three tiers need three solids other than the module. Uh, and the rest of them just need two, right? We'll probably end up stretching this a little bit vertically. But this goes three tiles apart, minimum. And we'll probably end up stretching it out a bit, but for argument's sake. Speed modules don't have that much room left, actually. Okay. So if we keep doing... This kind of thing. I think we can actually... Sort it out pretty easily. This is, and I think this is going to end up looking a lot neater than I feared. Okay. Oh, except all these don't have things in common. That's that's the thing that's going to be harder about it. It's not like all of these are looking for the same item from a half belt. Fool me once. Everything but the modules, right? That's what we need to belt in. I mean, we could have the bots deliver things for the high tit. Nah. It's fine. Okay. So that's like six different resources that we need to bring down each way. I think we should just use more vertical space. And I guess these belts in between are just not going to matter. For everything after tier 3, it's actually going to be more like... 1, 2, 3. Oh, I might use some undergrounds here. Kind of like that. We could probably spread them out a little bit more. Tier 4 shares data card. 
So it does. And that's the last one that shares anything. Okay. We already got everything that tier 3 shares in blue circuits. So I guess we don't need this. So this one's going to be nothing but uh, machine learning data. And then we just need different types of plate. Which I guess means we can put this nice and cozy like. Iridium plate. Uh, that's not plate. Holmium plate for efficiencies. And spice plate. I mean extract plate. For the prods. Alright. But now we really do need some split belts. To repeat this pattern. So how close can we actually put these together if we want to do something like this? Also, I suppose that could be closer. There's nothing in common with these three. Oh, hold on. We already did the shared resources for these ones. Can't fit three items on a belt, not without sushi madness. So I guess that's going to look like this as well. We actually do still need another machine for the copper cable. Uh, and we also need this solid fuel to support this thing. That actually can be direct inserted. And glass down here. This is going to take some designing. Never really thought we'd need it this badly. Right. Oh, solid fuel also does need to go to the bot network, just so that we can very conveniently uh, fuel our train. Alright, so pop a plate here, I guess. These are all just single items, right? What the heck? Don't you output? Just illustrate what we need to put here for now. Glass. Copper plate. Uh, solid. Well, yeah, solid fuel is directly insert. So those those ones are done. 
What's L? D hose, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. L stands for local dinner. Wait, what? Can't see the name of L. I see. Uh, this needs batteries. This needs sulfur. And this needs small electric motor. What's this one? Uh, copper. We already dealt with that. So it's only this one here that kind of has a direct belt. I might just put the... Can we make some room? Freaking arcospheres. Alright. Might just put the little cheat uh, light oil over here to remind myself that that input is covered. And then these all need a separate input as well. So that one's battery. That one is sulfur. And small electric. Hmm. If they're going to be that close together, we can't really use the bigger chests. I guess we'll put this here. And that's the last of the common inputs. And then we've got split belt input to each of these. Do we actually have... There's no, like, common input to these, so they could be closer together, if necessary. So no more belts. Whoops. No more belts going down the side like this. And I think all of these are going to follow the same pattern, right? Maybe we'll end up spreading them out a bit. How do we actually fit the chests together with this? Might have to spread them, I think. Unless... Oh. That's cozier than I thought it would be. That's a lot cozier than I thought it would be. This might just work. May as well put it a little bit closer. Uh, we're not going to need as many over here, right? And then just... Just these two. That looks kind of wonky.
I guess we don't need to do the type input on that side. Currently off by one? In what way? Alright, that, that's a pattern. So we've got uh, 18 different solid inputs over here. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 31. I feel like we're missing three solids. Most of your input belts from the chests are misaligned. Oh, I see. Actually, it might look a bit more consistent. In a sense. If... If we do it kind of like this. Yeah, I don't mind that. Even though it's kind of sneakily putting this left side where this right side would be. And then we can do the pipe like so, which is going to connect over here. We can move that pretty much as far left and right as we want. We'll also have... Light oil. Hmm. If I want to keep it nice and neat, we'd have to move the whole thing over four tiles. I think we can do that. So light oil would line up like so. I think we'd put copper plate on the far left side here. Probably just put another... Actually, I could put it down here. That's arguably... Nah, that's kind of wonky. Let's put it on the corner. Copper plate... Glass. Glass would go here, I guess. Why don't I just make these infinity chests for the moment? So then we want to put a 
What's it called again? Electronic components. Down this way. Electronic circuit. Uh, we're going to run out of room for some things if I'm not careful. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. You're missing three solid inputs because you use three solid... Because you use three solid inputs started. Uh, shared. Oh no, we need one separate... Um... Wait, what? I'm confused. We'll figure it out. We'll get it... We, we will test this thing running. Um, we'll get it to the point where we know it all works. Alright. Maybe... Uh, should I do a row of chests? For, the, uh, for some of these resources. It's going to be a bit ugly. But it is going to fit. Is the thing. Oh, we didn't use this one. Oops. But we won't necessarily use both sides equally. Let's just see where everything ends up. So this is advanced circuits. This is processing units. And this one... Machine learning data. Okay. So we're still missing one, two, three... Wait, what? No. These three. Maybe I could stretch it out horizontally a bit so we could have the red storage chests like down here so we're not doing this up here. Or even just... That's not going to be freaking symmetrical. Maybe it's okay if not everything is perfectly symmetrical. Ouch. That hurt my soul to say. Uh, also, we don't have room here. Oh, we can't use... Wait, what? Oh, no, it's, it's like... It's like this. What am I doing? Bonk. We demand perfection, just use tier 6 warehouses. Uh, there's nothing... There's nothing with the same size as these, uh... Advanced assembly machines. The only odd-numbered... The only container that we've got with odd-numbered dimensions is the delivery cannon chest. That's why we sometimes... Put them in between the train stops. Wait, no. So blue circuits goes there. Uh, whatever this is. 
emesite crystal. There's here. This one would be vulcanite block. Where the heck is it? Nefer, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess we could just put some regular belt there. The chest mod is stupid? Wait, what? Oh, right, just because it doesn't give us odd dimensions. I see how it is. That's not too bad, I just don't like how this is wonky. Alternatively, we could stretch this out a bit. I mean, we're using this space anyway, right? What if it was more like... like that? I mean, the middle one's still going to be off-center. I guess it's fine. Or we could use like three chests for the one in the middle. Maybe we do that. I actually don't hate that as much. So we'd probably do the same thing over here. So this should probably be green circuits. Maybe we move those in a little bit. Um, so instead of all of this... look like that. I, I do like that better. We're not using these three, are we? Haven't done crinite rods yet. That goes here. Uh, we haven't done the direct inserts yet. That's no big deal. Why don't we put these up top? Alright, I guess we're doing the same thing here regardless. That looks wrong. Because this isn't the same, that's why. Well, I feel like this should be further in. Yeah, that's kind of more consistent. Yeah, we can just copy-paste this. There's no filters. Alright. So we got... Uh, most of these final products. Fantastic. One, two, three... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. It's thirteen. Plus there's a fluid here. One. I guess it's kind of hard to count. Let's just wait till we've got everything and then we'll do a final count. Some of these are going to have to... Find their way across. I guess we'll do it from here. Iridium plate. 
Uh, spice. Where's spice? Oh, it's extract, isn't it? Not spice. Extract. Uh, extract. There we go. And holmium plate. And we can just squeeze these in in some corners. Actually, the middle one's still going to be pretty awkward. Uh, we could do this instead. That's kind of weird, too. Man. And like that. I guess I can live with this. That's what I'll tell myself, you know, so I can sleep. Again, this needs some direct insert. All right. Holy loader horde, indeed. <laughs> mm. We could obviously move this up a couple of tiles, probably. get to that when we get to that. So there's like one tile we didn't use over here with this symmetry. Probably just scoot that over a little bit. Let's keep going. Um, I guess we're still going to do this. All the way across. And we need heavy girder material catalog. Catalogs on the right. Can we even belt this across? Oops. Let's account for everything we need first. Heavy girder. Material catalog. Tier 1. Uh... Bio catalog and energy catalog. Chromium cable and bio scrubber. So these are probably going here. What's in this one again? Holmium cable. Wait. No, Holmium cable goes here. Bio scrubber goes here. Okay. 6, 12, 16, 17, 18. This is 17. Uh... I, I guess we'll have to have a bot travel ever so slightly further.
Use one from the left with the empty space for 18. Maybe. It would have to come pretty far across. Ugh, not feeling that well. Uh, we're just about time to finish anyway. Good timing, I suppose. Let's at least mark what needs to go into these containers. Nope. Nope. That's catalog four, I think. Material. Extended. And heavy assembly. Catalog three. Uh, this will be catalog two for material. So that goes there, right? I think I put this one in the wrong spot. This one is comprehensive bio, broad bio, why are we bonking? Have a great day, thank you. Uh, and this is broad energy. Oh, do we even have room? Uh... Oh boy. I'm hurting myself in my confusion here. Do we have room to belt things to these? I think we do. Just like that. No, this one doesn't... This one doesn't have room for any inputs. Unless... I mean... I guess it could... Go down that way? Oh boy. Nope, that's in the way. Uh, and then how do we get in here? Good job. We're definitely going to have to play with the layout a bit. But I think we're getting close to a build that we can be satisfied with. Or closer in any case. Let's find someone to raid. Factorio. Didn't read my genius idea? Just move all circuits one tile left. And then you can have the empty slot be all the way to the right of the station. All circuits, one tile to the left. I would have to move all the machines. And then this wouldn't line up. I guess I'd need some zigzaggy oil pipes. Well, yeah, it, it's possible, I think. It's possible that it's possible. We've got Sephanated playing K2. Uh, the only SEK2 I see so far 
is not in English. As is often the case lately. Alright, why don't we drop in on Sephonator today? Wrapping up stream already? I mean, it's kind of late. This, this is my usual end time. Unfortunately, I haven't really had the health to start as early as I used to. Hopefully that'll change one day. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Adios. Take care, Veldai. And Lord Seru. Damn you not observing daylight savings, same as the Northern Hemisphere? Yeah. I mean, I could push my end time back a bit, but people would be upset with me. Alright, let's go. I'm not gonna, because I'm a gamer. <laughs>